<laughs> All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How long have we been rolling? I don't know. A minute nice. or two. We've been hanging we out. Were, for a we were talking about the Wild West and what, what happens at Jimmy Red's house, but um, it's always something happened in there. I guarantee you, and generally police are involved, and <laughs> yeah. it's always the same story. But I didn't do it. The well, best one I liked was I had the gen- energy people show up, and they they stopped outside his his joint there, and they're looking at a telephone pole with a transformer on. And there are some jumper cables running from the transformer down to the trailer. <laughs> Red done figured out how to steal electricity. <laughs> now imagine the set oh, it takes oh. to hook jumper cables up to a transformer. Oh, no. Yeah. Like that? That's yeah. one move and you yeah. look like that squirrel. Yeah. If you do it wrong, <laughs> it's... <laughs> and you're gone. <laughs> Yeah. But he figured it's cheaper than paying for it. <laughs> the the craziest thing, our special guest today, who hadn't been introduced yet, oh, he, yeah. he will chainsaw and flip flops, but that's his that's his crazy. That's as wild as he gets. Yeah, that's wild as he gets. But yeah. you want to introduce special No, guest? it's your dad. Hey, <laughs> big Dave's in the house, everybody. Hey dad. Uh, hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, most ever thinking flip flops. That is true. Uh, He's a flip flop man. Well, you gotta be comfortable. Right. Hey, if you go out, if you go out to work, you might as well be comfortable doing it. I got a pair of them. Them, uh, what, what kind of good. shorts are those? Honey hole. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> well, they're we honey hole shorts. Now. They're we honey sell- hole shorts, but they're kind of that slicky material. You know? Oh yeah. yeah, athletic shorts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can't get the muffler of a chainsaw too close to those. Oh, no, it melts. Um, they're flammable. Yeah, yeah, man, it melts. Yeah, they'll burn. They just kind of yeah, disappear. They, 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 <laughs> they melt. And then the next thing you know, you go, ah! Yeah. And you can't, you know, this is the stuff that sticks to you. So yeah. you don't want to, you don't want to try to tear it off. Yeah. Well, we got a pair of drawers built into them. Yeah. So it protected everything important. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, at least that's good. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's yeah. finding out yeah. my dad's way manlier than me. <laughs> he chainsawed something down in shorts and then melted the shorts off of his person. Well, let me well, tell you something. Well, they melted onto the chainsaw. Oh, Ooh. there you go. Ooh. Well, your dad, Cy, my dad, they all from that same generation. My dad used to weld shirtless. <laughs> shirtless. Oh, no, no, no. Welding shirtless. Little hot beads of melted metal oh, yeah. falling all over him. He never said a word. He just yeah. kept that hood on. Yeah. You won't talk about tough, but. And I, you know, and it, it hurt his chest. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm watching just. It, pss, pss, pss. I mean. He still just. Just welding shirtless. Welding shirtless. I'm telling you, that this generation here way tougher than us. Oh, but oh we yeah. were raised by the greatest generation. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. And and it's yeah. pretty watered down by the time yeah. it got to us, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. raised by him. So that was, <laughs> I'm a little tough. Yeah, well, you well, you the weak one there. Yeah, boy. yeah. We pretty much watered down. We're gonna have to have another great generation come <laughs> yeah. through. Which maybe as parents, maybe we'll be that. But you know, like it's a it's a wild deal. But you know what's cool about my dad? He he was he's a world Vietnam traveler like Cy. Si. Because really? you were born in Germany, probably while Cy si was there. May have been. May have been. Look 72. This is my first tour over. No, 72? No, no. you ain't that. Uh, I'm a little older than that. <laughs> 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 but your dad was in Vietnam. Yeah. Right? And so there's all there's all the connections here. What's wild about that? Vietnam is a gorgeous country. The countryside is yeah. beautiful. Oh, when my dad came back from Vietnam, he had the best tan I ever seen. <laughs> best tan? Oh no, no, no! no. Oh, he was he 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 was stationed right there on the South China Sea on no. the beach. <laughs> no, no, my mama I sent her a picture, and I'm you know, I ain't got my shirt on because it's like 110 degrees. And she said, uh, "When's the last time you took a bath? You look like you got mud on." Because I was about to color the them antlers on that deer. It's a good place to get a tan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's good for tan. <laughs> but hey, the, what what amazed me about it? People said they don't believe in the flood. Mm-hmm. You need to go to Vietnam during the monsoon season. <laughs> okay, and once it rains, okay, and you see how hard it can rain, oh, you'll believe in the flood. Because <laughs> hey, like we got a company, they're standing, and we can see the. The black clouds coming, and everybody's saying, "Man, I hope he hurries up the long-winded sucker, or we fix to get just drowned." <laughs> and I, about that time it hits, and look, I'm standing about oh maybe thirty yards from him, 
in 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 the you know bleachers sitting, and when it starts, the whole company disappears because there's just a wall of water. How fast do you get out of there? Uh, oh no, it didn't. No, yeah, yo, you figure it well. I just got, <laughs> hey, no, no, yo, I was drowned in two seconds. Yeah. Okay, I'm soaked. So didn't matter. Yeah, soaked. Did it? Two seconds. Okay. But hey, good thing is, hey, right, it's over. Hey, you're drying f- 10 minutes. Drying 10 minutes. Oh, Yo, here comes the sun. You're dry. You're, <laughs> yeah, you ain't wet anymore. Boy, that man Boudreaux could have made a lot of money if he was around back in. But hey, I'm telling you, when it rains there, oh, you talking about rain. Okay. How long um, was your dad in Vietnam? Dad, he's there for a year. Year, yeah. No, it's twelve months. Yeah, twelve months is how. That's yeah. how long you were there. Oh no, but I, Granddaddy's look, way older than you. Oh no, look, I met a guy that was over there for eleven years. He done eleven tours, and I said, "Dude, you've done your share and forty more people's share." So hey, go home. Yeah. <laughs> He said, oh, no. He said, I was here the first day it started. He said, I'm going to stay with it till we finish it. Huh. That's crazy to think about. I no, think, no. I think I'd have got out See, of there no, if no. I could have. But. That's what most people don't realize about our military, okay? And I, I couldn't give you the years. You know, if you was in the military during the Iraq-Afghanistan period, okay, and that's what, been 15 years mm-hmm. probably? Well, you may have done 15 tours in a combat zone because, hey, they they take you out of out of uh, Iraq. Well, hey, Afghanistan's hot. Send you to Afghanistan, you know, and vice versa. So we had guys that, you know, hey, they spent their 15 years out of their career. If they'd done it 20 years, they fit fitting 15 of it in a combat zone. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, no, and then it's like, oh, what's your problem? Well, hey, hey, you try 15 years of combat, dude, and then, yeah. then it's come see me. Yeah, you try living where you didn't know who's shooting yeah, at you or yeah. if they're shooting and, and, at you. And, or... and back then, some of the time, talking about, you know, I'm glad I never was involved in it because, hey, if somebody shoots at me, I ain't calling nobody. I fixed the MP a 30 round clip in his direction. <laughs> okay, I ain't getting permission. Yeah, I ain't getting permission. Hey, hey, what, what's when he upon? shot at me, yeah, when he shot at me, I had my permission. Rules of engagement. Yeah, right? rules that's, of that's, engagement. That's you know? standard procedure. Oh, no, no. It was just, it was just idiotic. You know, but, yeah, the that. military life is a wild one, and you were oh. a kid for that, right? How yeah. many places did you live growing up? A bunch. I've had yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More than two? Not ever two years. Yeah, you got them. Three at the most, okay? What was Dang. your favorite place? Uh... Lived in Fort Benny, Georgia. That was a pretty cool place. Hey, that's pra- why I took basic. They had paratroopers there. So yeah. People jumping out of the sky. Oh, no. Hey, there was one rule at Fort Benny, Georgia. You didn't walk anywhere. It was. You ran. Right. Look, my my drill sergeant, I could have took a bath in his Smokey the Bear hat. <laughs> it was his dad. Oh, no, well, I'm no, just, no, I'm no, no. Hey, look, <laughs> this dude was 456'8. Big oaf. <laughs> Big old, baby. Okay, and look, you had to respect the guy because, hey, we ran it. Hey, I'm weighing in like 125 if they wet me down, okay? And I, we run everywhere we went, and I said, hey, big big post. We would run out to the, the rifle range. That's like five miles. We'd run to the rifle range. You know, you know try to shoot and hit something after you've been running for five miles. <laughs> You know, I can't run five miles, sir. Yeah, yeah. You know, so hey, he ran with us. So hey, <laughs> big oaf did. Yeah, he That's ran every step we scary ran. Scary man. That's yeah. a good leader. Hey, look, when he showed up, we're looking, and here comes a a uh, cab, and look, it's this way, and there's <laughs> metal sparks flying off of this thing coming toward us. Okay, I'm talking about. You would think the car had a grinder on it coming in. I'm just glad I'm not the only one that does that to small cars. No, no. I'm serious. <laughs> Look, when he got out, this thing rose like two foot. When he stepped out of it, it bounced two foot up in the air. Yeah. And we looked and we said, surely that's not our new drill sergeant. And, and it everybody was? said, oh, yeah. That's him. Yikes. Yeah. And hey, guess what? He liked me. Bad move. 
He didn't like you? Uh, no, no. He liked me. Okay. So, hey, he would get in my face and put his nose on my nose. Okay, and start talking. Mate, get down and give me 25. Well, I get tickled. I couldn't help it. I was laughing. <laughs> the last day I'm graduating, I'm in dress greens. He put his nose on me. I busted out laughing. 350 push ups later, <laughs> I finally got the smile off of my face. I, could, I couldn't laugh no more. I said, I can't, I can't handle it no more. Do not laugh, you idiot, because he's going to keep doing it to you. Oh, that's good yeah. stuff. Go. Yo. <laughs> hey, look, if you're tuning in to our <laughs> podcast, you know we're just a group of regular dudes who do regular things, but we all, all talk about our health a lot, and we try and stay healthy, and that's why a bunch of us drink AG1 literally every day. It's a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health i gave it a try stone was working me out he you, christian told you about drinking oh, ag1 yeah. he's just drinking all the things every morning look i drink in the morning it makes you feel better it gives you better gut health i sleep better when i'm drinking ag1 so all right, I, look you might not need that but it makes you feel way better it'll help your hair too it's all mean? the vitamins well hey look if you got all the good stuff hey and hey the best thing about that is it's one scoop. One scoop. Look, AG1 was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. It's the healthiest thing you can do in under a minute. You can do all the different pills and vitamins and supplements and have a whole drawer of them. That's dangerous. Or you could just take one scoop and a powder of water once a day, drink that, and you're good to go. Every scoop is packed with 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and whole food source ingredients of high quality that... Gut health, mood support, you've all heard them all. Boosted energy. We talk about it all the time because of how great it is. Look, and the best part is it's all less than a cup of coffee. That's what it's going to cost you. You're already spending that money anyway. Why not invest in your health every morning? One scoop in a cold glass of water. Drink that and you're going to feel great. If you want to take ownership over your health, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. 350. I, I do three, three, I'm talking about, hey, I'm talking about all over. the way down, all the way up. Did you spill your tea? Oh, that was hey, that was the best shape I've ever been in base base, base training. Meanwhile, Big Dave was just running around the Fort Playground while you were getting <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. watching people yeah. jump out of the yeah. air. Y'all yeah. might have been every there. afternoon. People falling out of the sky. Oh no, no, I we went to me, me and the buddies. So we got bored. Told me, hey, right, let's go airborne. So we went to a demonstration. Hey, right, chopper goes up and it's seated up there and look like a mosquito. It's so high. Well, the first guy out, his chute opens, then collapses and is doing this. Well, he cuts it loose, okay, opens mm -hmm. his secondary chute. Huh? It pops open, closes, and hey, <laughs> right, right in where in front of our stands. You saw that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so did a bunch of high school seniors. And I looked at him, he looked at me, and I said, I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, forget about going that one, dude. Let's go back I, to the unit. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no sense jumping out of a perfect. No, area. yeah. All right. So you washed a man. I eat washed the man. Hey, didn't open. He, he, our both shoes folded on him, and hey, he hit the ground. Well, thank you to our military. Oh no, 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 yeah, no, that's no. where we're going. I didn't that. either. Look, it really second. rang home as hard as he hit that table right no. here beside me. You get oh, used no, no. to it sitting over there. Oh, hey, uh, my favorite duty station was Fort Bragg, North Carolina. That's the home of the eighty second Airborne. Uh huh. Now look, they're crazy as bed bugs, all of them, okay? But they are good at what they do. Did you ever look okay? at them? And look, hey, they are ready at a heartbeat. All you ever heard from them when we was on the post was, I wish somebody would start a war somewhere. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious, because, hey, they trained for it, and son, they were good at what they'd done. Well. I'm glad we have those people. Oh yeah, been on our it's side. A, amen. Well, I didn't know we were going here, but oh yeah. Well, hey, we just got talking about. Hey, it. hey, I love it. I, well, it is a good shout out to our military yeah. families because it, it it not only affects the people like Cy, my granddaddy who served, right. but their kids like my dad and all the people moving all over. So thank you if you're if you're part yeah. of that. You do what you do, so we can sit here and 
Oh, that's why about I always weird. talk about the yeah. greater generation. You got to think about this, guys. That was back when, okay, wasn't no in- industries. Most of the people that lived on this earth then was farmers, just farm boys, okay? World War II broke out, and hey, they all went to the, you know, uh, where you recruiting station, okay, and signed up. They got on ships, anything that would float, and went across the pond to Germany to fight Hitler and his bunch of people, okay? That's why they're the greatest generation. They would give you the shirt off their backs. A a person in uniform could hitchhike the United States and make good time back then. Mm -hmm. Because, hey, once they faced a car, stop and let him out, the next car would stop and pick him up and take him the rest of the way. Yeah. That that's you know they were the greatest generation because they was they was uh, number one they was men. That was back in the day when men were men, son. And when I say men, they wasn't scared of nothing and they took care of business. I met my granddaddy. He he was a man. Oh no, no no. <laughs> Would yeah. you agree, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no. It was, just, it, it was a different time, okay? Because if in growing up in the neighborhood, you got to think about this. Hey, you started cutting up and acting a fool? Well, hey, the next door neighbor would take his belt off and blister your behind. And the first thing you do is take you down to your house and tell your dad what why he did it. And then your dad would take his belt off and poop your butt again. Yeah. It can't be pairs. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I Sometimes said. Sometimes threefold. No, no. Sometimes a trifecta. Huh? Yeah. You know, it just, it was a different time and a different uh, perspective. Everything was different. Yeah. Okay. If somebody else's parents told your parents that you did something, yeah. you did it whether you did it or not. And you're going to get it. your butt You were guilty. Up. Yeah. And there oh, was no. no innocent. No, no. My family, okay. When something happened. Okay, and if you wasn't man up and admitted you did it, well, then the whole bunch got full. <laughs> I remember yeah, that. They was going to get the guilty person. And yeah. then then it was okay. Okay, now you got me a whipping, and I didn't do it. So, hey, we're fixing to jump on you and beat you up again. <laughs> you know? Yo, 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 so it was just, it was really, yo. Know, but I look back on when people say, well, if you if you could go back and have a time machine, where do you go? Oh, hey, that's a no-brainer. I go back to my childhood. It was the greatest time of my life. Okay? Mom and Dad took care of all the trouble. You know, they had all the worries. All I had to do was have fun. Yeah. Yeah. He's outside hot, got thirsty. You just went up to the house and drank out of the water hose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was what, what we call hard water. Yeah, you know, it wasn't sweet water. This was hard water. <laughs> Tasted yeah. like the sulfur from the whale. Oh yeah, no, no, I like was, water hose water. Yeah. There's but something it was, that it was just great growing up in that time. Yeah, you because know, like uh, the, all the stupid stuff that you see nowadays. Uh oh, we got him going. No, no, yeah, you get him yeah. going too. Well, no, no, it was just you know, we would go to people that was was uh, we call rich. You know, if you had a if you had a it was in high school and had a a car or a truck, oh, you was a rich person. Well, they'd drive up with a shotgun in the back because guess what we're going to do once we get out of school? We're going hunting. Yeah, every truck had a gun rack. Yeah, we're going hunting. You know? hey, what did you do the... yesterday afternoon? I killed 12, 12 squirrels. And they said, wait a minute, they ain't eight, eight limit. I said, I know that. I killed four over. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, it was just, it was, you know. They had gun racks in the truck when you, because you're, what, you're yeah. 14 years younger than Cy, 13, somewhere in there? I don't know how old Cy is. So 75. Yeah. 12. 12. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, it was a different time. Yeah, and you left, you could leave your gun in the gun rack in the truck and the window down. All right, yeah, the window's <laughs> down. It's summer, you know, it's hot. Look at the windows roll down, there's a 12 gauge shotgun in the, in the rack. Ain't nobody messing with it. Ain't nobody messing with it. No, because everybody had one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's, you know, that's a difference. It was just a different Everybody time, had one. Okay. And, and uh, I look at it, uh, there was more appreciation, okay, and there was more respect. More appreciation and you had less. You, but you appreciated oh, no. what you had more. Well, no, no, because we didn't have nothing. Right.
Yo. We got him going, Martin. Well, no, no. It was just, yo, and, he and look. Me. When did you start working, Cy? Si? What age? Hey, 12 years old. Well, my dad told me to get a job when I was 12, but they wouldn't hire you till you were 16. <laughs> well, so, no, he no, got, see, so he gave me a job to do till I got 16. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Hey, I'm in bed asleep. Tommy and Phil normally haul hay in the summertime, but that year they was like 16 and 18, okay, and Daddy – Worked in the oil field, and he had a job for them. So now they're making big dollars, you know, not 50 cents an hour, you know, hauling hay. So I'm in there asleep, my, you know, knock on the door, and this Jim, a farmer, you know, and he said, hey, where's Tommy and Phil, you know? And he said, oh, he's working for his dad, you know? He said, oh, man, I'm in trouble. I got to have somebody to work for me, you know? And she said, well, you know, and he said, well, who else you got? You know? She said, sorry, he, but he ain't 12, you know? He said, Miss Robertson, I, I promise you I'll take care of him. He won't get hurt and all that. You know, you know, I'll take care of him, just like he's my own son. You know? And she said, come in there, woke me up, said, you want to go to work? I said, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I got dressed, went, you know, and hey, we had an old international. He did. Put it in first gear, and it was. Uh, 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 uh. He's throwing bales of hay up on, on the stupid thing. We'd get it full. Get up there and then I'd stack it and he'd help help me, you know. He'd hand it to me and I'd put it and stack it in place. And from twelve, you know, first time I got my paycheck, guess what? Mama took it and said, I went, What are you doing? She said, School clothes. It costs money. You you're a man now, so hey, you're gonna learn, hey, yo. And I went, Ah yo, what are you talking about? That's my first check. Hey, she said, I know it. It's gonna be school clothes. <laughs> yeah. So it you know. Different times. Different times. I will say, Big Dave charged me to use his tractor. I had to, hey. I got paid, and I had to give him part of well, it. Well, no, no. Hey, rinse, rinse. Yeah. That's a good move. His tractor. Yeah. Well, no, no. <laughs> Did it hurt you? No. Mm -mm. Did Not it give you appreciation for what you've got? When that tractor wouldn't start, I would be so nervous because I said, Dad's going to, I'm going to yeah, get in I'm trouble gonna get for, the mess, blame for messing yeah. up this tractor. Yeah, I'm going to get So I learned to take care of stuff yeah. that, by that, too, because I was using stuff that wasn't mine. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, y'all grew up in a different era for sure. And I can appreciate it. Well, I let's, love take it. A break. Oh, no. let's take a break and we'll get into some more. Though. We'll get into more work story. Oh. I, my dad's got a good work story. Okay. So, you know, my dad is here and my boss used to, did, will, will he technically work for you or with no. you? Uh, with me. With our dad. Okay. We worked in the cabinet shop. Mac, uh, Mac, oh. my brother, your uncle. He's been on before. Yeah. He was, it was his cabinet shop. We worked together. Well, he worked I with worked. Willie. Willie was there. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, I said, I've had to apologize to him because I told him, I said, man, when you were out there working, I said, that cat ain't never going to mount to nothing. <laughs> I can admit when I'm wrong. Well, yeah. no, no. Hey. He rallied. Yeah. He rallied. Yeah. But given the clues you were given at the time, well, no, your no, assessment yeah. was probably correct. So, Yeah, the only time I ever felt bad, we were building a, a boathouse on Candy Lake, and I was up in the rafters with a nail gun, and Willie was kind of the gopher. He was going to get yeah. stuff. He's bringing you stuff, man. Yeah, I had that safety pulled back. and like, <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever hit him, but when I did, I felt bad <laughs> <laughs> for a little bit. You shot Willie with a nail gun? It's a long ways away. It didn't hurt. Hey, long ways. Hey, he always did stick him a little bit. He was out of range. Yeah. <laughs> well, nail gun ain't hey, got a barrel look, on it. It look, was probably hey, tumbling Robert, by the time hey, it got there. Trust so. me when I tell you, Willie was used to that, okay? Because yeah. we had BB gun wars, all this stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And you act like if Willie hadn't had the nail gun, oh, he, he wouldn't would've. have done the same thing. No, oh, he wasn't allowed to have a nail gun. <laughs> <laughs> so, we pulled rank on that one. Yeah. But there is a, there is a story that you were there for. Well, same same place. Uh, the same place. A lot on Candy Lake. We're building a house. And we're we're setting poles, you know, and we got we got tractor down there with an auger on yep. it. And uh, yep. yeah, the old ground was hard. So Ronnie Crow's on the tractor. We're back there keeping it straight. And Willie's only job is clean out the hole. The hole's been dug. Just yeah, get the loose just dirt get out. Get loose of it. dirt out. Easy. So he's you know you know how we get that post hole. You kind of throw them. Oh yeah, yeah. Where to stick it? And, yeah. yeah, and you're bobbing your head. Yeah. Well, apparently Willie <laughs> throwed, bobbed, root, boom, in the Bam. head. Yeah. In the head. Well, we yeah. didn't know that. 
So I turn around, and Willie's kind of rolling around on the, it's hot, <laughs> sweaty. He's rolling around on the ground. And I'm thinking, lazy sucker, get up, do something. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, right. So then uh, when we determined that he legitimately was hurt, we were like, there may have been a little moment of sadness, but not long. Uh, we said, okay, who wants to go get lunch? I bet he got up in. Nah. nah oh, really? That's when you knew he was That's down. when you knew he was down. Got a pile of lumber over there. He went over and laid on the pile of lumber. Well, we're at Jackson Parish. At, we're going to make the day. We ain't coming back from yeah. a headache. Oh, yeah. So It's uh, <laughs> a long drive for him. He lays, he lays on the rest, the rest of the day. He's laid up on the pile of lumber. I think I uh, I don't remember who ended up cleaning out the holes anyway. So we're setting post. One of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting Not back him. home. Yeah, it wasn't and, him. And, and, uh, Willie's riding with Mac. They're in a the truck in front of us, and uh, <laughs> we're, we're hauling it down 34 there. And, and uh, Mac pulls off. I said, "What are they doing?" Well, Mac pulls off in the driveway of that that A-frame church down there. On oh 34. yeah. Yeah. Well. Willie barrels out. He's got a shirt tied around his head, no shirt on, shorts, and he just starts losing his groceries, you know, all over the place. He's just puking everywhere? Yeah. Look up. There's a bunch of women having a ladies' day at that church. <laughs> Dinner on the ground. Dinner on the ground. Dinner was on Dinner the ground. Dinner on the ground there and there. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I know they're probably all thinking, that pump's drunk. He's out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. He had a concussion. Yeah. 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 We didn't apparently. find that out till later. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we were we were we were we were guiltless. So we thought he was just being willy. No, I borrowed I borrowed uh, Max truck one time. I was moving. Okay, and he, I, I don't even remember what it was one of the big ones. So I got went to the you know, after I borrowed it and moved everything, I went to fill it up, you know, and I I had to stop and look, you know, cause I filled it up and this time, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars and I'm going. I kept, I stopped, looked, and told me, <laughs> I was looking for a leak. I was talking, good grief. That's, that's, what, I, that's what gas was, $1.25. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah $15 no. a get Oh, no, no, but it, I, hey, it was a dual tank. <laughs> and you done run that sucker dry. I, oh, no, and I'd run it, hey, yeah, and I just, you know, I told Mac, I said, hey, you need to check your gas tank. And he said, why? I said, I put like $75 in there. And he said, you, fit, you didn't have to fill both tanks up? And I went, both tanks, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, "Hey, no, I borrowed your truck." I said, "I don't mind you doing well, that." Mac I always said, had a bunch of good stuff, so it was always good to take care of Mac stuff when you borrowed it. No, no, had, he had other stuff you wanted to borrow. Oh, too. no, no, because hey, look, yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, I ain't go. Yeah, you know, I ain't gonna borrow anybody's vehicle and then bring it back to him and ain't no gas in it. I borrowed it. It's gonna be full. Back at old Backo years ago. Oh yeah. Had. It had tires on them that you could see the air through them in the front. <laughs> so I borrowed it, and why I had it, it blew both, tire. both tires blew out. Oh, yeah. I had yeah. to buy two. So he come back and had brand new tires. Yeah. That's a good move. And you didn't I, even have to do that because you, you, you brothered in on that deal. That's something that generally happens to us that outside of it will never use that rubber tire hoe again. Yeah. Yeah, That's, Mac had equipment. Oh, well, Mac, Mac had stuff. He still got stuff. He still got stuff. Oh. He different. got stuff scattered from Louisiana to Colorado now. So, like, if you're getting a buying somewhere, you call Mac. Odds are he knows somebody. Yeah. He got something somewhere. He knows somebody somewhere that's got yeah. something you can use to get you out of a bind. That's that's just the way. And to put it into perspective, how much stuff he had, you know, he had, his whole shop burned down one time and he lost all his stuff. Yeah. But now he's got more stuff than that. <laughs> he's a stuff man. He is a stuff man. Good and, stuff, too. It, oh, yeah. Biscuit pans. Biscuit pans. He had them. We got the we got the recipe. Mm -hmm. he, he's a he's a good carpenter and he's a good cook. Yeah, yeah. I could always see him cringe every time he got in a duck blind at Phil built. Speaking of cooks, because <laughs> it was not up to his. It was not up no, to no, his snuff. I laughed about that because Matt Phil get in there and get to looking at him. In his life. Oh. Owen's got a perfection uh, thing about him. Oh no no, that's what I'm saying. Hey, he's a oh, it's, he's a professional oh, cabinet maker. Uh -huh. Okay, so hey, it's got to be right. Okay. But but speaking of cooking, because that's that's an uh, the it's, it's we all do it, right? My my dad is a, a what I would call an expert on the outdoor kitchen area, and he just keeps adding things to it. Um, but dad, uh, if you were to cook a steak, 
Um, and oh, somebody wow. asked you mm. to cook it medium plus. Mm. What would that mean? You burn it. <laughs> mm. Mm. I knew that one wouldn't go in well for you. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't worried about it. Okay, because I, I, he's I done made it. up a, his okay, own I love terms. It. Okay, because look, yo, know, yo, know, there's the 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 people that wait on you in a restaurant ask you how you want your steak, sir. Most people say medium rare. Okay, that's when they cut into it. Okay, it's, all it is 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 it's browned on the outside just a little bit and it's raw. Okay, you know, because that's what they wanted, okay? I always tell them, okay, light pink in the center. And I don't care if it's three inches thick or ten inches thick. I want the middle of it light pink. Well, you did you did get a sous vide steak. Ooh. A what? Big day fancy. Sous vide. Sous vide? Yeah. See, everybody's got their own way of a See, that's what happens to me at, at every uh, Father's Day, Christmas my kids all give me something to cook with. Yeah. So we can eat. And then they're coming over for supper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just because they're going to be there every yeah. Sunday. Yeah. 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 Regardless. yeah. Every Sunday, regardless. Yeah. So they get me this sous vide thing, and I look at it, and I said, what? It looks kind of like a dribble tool or something. You know, it's just, uh, what am I going to do with this? This is a temperature, a temperature gauge. Is what it, yeah, I, you, you, put your, you put it in a big pan of water, and you heat the water up, and you put your meat in there so it cooks it all to the – Perfect like if you want it medium plus, yeah, that'd probably be about 145 degrees. Mm -hmm. So you cook it all the way through to 145, and then when you take it out, it don't look like it's done. You take it on a grill and you get that grill up to about 700. So sear it on. <laughs> See, that's what I do. That's what I do right now with the filet mignon, eight ounce filet mignon. Eight ounce. I actually sear it on all sides. I actually do it like it's a round chunk of meat, eight ounces. You know, I turn it sideways, okay, like it's, when it's laying on the plate, you know, it's flat. I pick it up, turn it sideways. I do one side, flip it, do the other side, do this, the end that you didn't do, turn it over, do the end, and then, then I do the, lay it flat. And the trick to it is you cook it two minutes on, on medium. Medium heat. Medium heat. It's the same everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You cook it two That's minutes. Medium plus. And then, hey, when medium. you eat it, you cut it in the middle. It's light pink. It's juice running everywhere. Medium plus. Medium plus. Yeah, know, medium plus is because you stand it up, right? That's the oh, plus. yeah. That's the plus. There it is. If just regular meat, you would have been. Yeah, yeah. Just on but one side. It, one side, the other side. I cook it, I actually sear it. Here we go. Locking all the juice in. Lock them all in. Okay. And then when you cut it, it's light pink. Yo, know, and like these things are usually anywhere from like about four to two and a half inches thick. And hey, when you cut it, so it'll melt money. in your mouth. It's <laughs> juicy. Okay. Four inch thick, that's about fifty bucks. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're expensive, but hey. Can't hide money. It's fine. So steak. you can take a whole, you can take the whole filet, right? Don't cut it. No, no, yeah. Put it in a big bag, season it all up, yeah. inject it with something. Yeah. Sous vide yeah. it for about three hours, and then get that green egg, get it wet, about 700 degrees. Yeah. You take that it out. That green egg is dangerous. It'd burn all the hair off you. I was just fixing that because, hey, that's dangerous. <laughs> He I caught it. a Peter, I caught a I caught a ribeye on fire on it one time. Oh yeah, put it. Psh, no, yeah. no, he's like got two of them. <laughs> no, no, that's dueling dangerous. temperature. I don't. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have a green. Egg. Yeah, you got to burp them thing. <laughs> yeah, because when you open it, if you open it when it's been sitting there and got hot, you like tell me, I mean, it burn. It, it, that's why gone. your beard's been uneven all these yeah. years. Yeah, it'll make it cat like quick though, because. Oh no! No, yeah, because no, I don't. Hey, yeah, I, yeah, hey, yeah. No. Been there. All right. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. So, Big Dave, look, you're a legend around here. A local fishing legend. You, your son always says you deep fry a pork tender. How, how do you do this? Oh. I'm I'm legitimately curious. You just drop the whole thing in a thing of peanut oil or like. Yeah. You know, you need one of them Cajun cookers. Yeah. 
Maybe I'll get sponsored by R&V Works. Hey, yeah. maybe. <laughs> if not, we can just come buy one from the Honey Hill. No, we don't sell, we don't sell oh. them no more. But, <laughs> oh, never mind. They're big. They're big. We can't. <laughs> they're big time. You've been in our Oh, yeah, he ain't got enough room no more. Yeah. You, take <laughs> that, uh, you take that pork loin, cut it in half. Uh-huh. Just rub it down with whatever you like, Tony's, whatever kind of season you like, a lot of black pepper. And then you get that thing up to about, that grease up to about 350 degrees. Just drop both halves in. You cut it in half because the whole thing won't fit in yeah. your cooker. You drop ever heard both. of such? Hey. And then. And I then think, no, I think Stone let, does it that way. He, the, he's the, told me I hadn't ate one yet. Let the grease get down to about 300. Yeah. And just keep it at about 300, about 10 minutes a pound. Really? Man. Yeah. It's good. Oh uh, yeah, I always he can see pictures deep fry of it. anything. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I just had to know. I didn't tell you. Well, deep you know frying, that's like, oh, you're a good cook. I said, no, nah, I just fried it. Yeah. If you well, fry it, it's good. You know he's the luckiest man alive, too. I always thought Willie was, and then I was Well, second. you got to be careful with that, though. Huh? That's like when you're cooking a whole turkey in hot grease. Because you got to be, you oh, know, yeah. there's a, you know, you got to be careful when you're fooling with oh, You got to know what grease. you're doing. He just yeah. won another fryer. Yeah. On what? One, at some uh, men's night. He went to a church thing, and they were like, hey, thanks for coming. Here's a deep, a double basket deep fryer. Oh, yeah. He's living right. That's you put that out. <laughs> On his well, hey. back porch, there's two big green eggs and two deep fryers well, right Well, hey, look, you got to take care of the cook. That sounds like a flat top. A, that sounds like a man who He kids. got that pit boss flat top one year for, uh, that's what was a, that, hey. Father's Day? Something where I wanted look, to eat. That hey, sounds like a man with a lot cook. of grandkids. Yeah, you got to take care of the cook. He's the cook. Yeah. Uh, he is the cook. Oh, so what's whatever it? you cook, you gotta have chicken nuggets to go with it. Yeah, that's for, a staple. Yeah, grandkids. With that many grandkids. That's yeah. Got, yeah, that's a yeah. Kids kills me. So I know my experience, but I, I'm interested to know yours, Dave. What? What? How's it working with your son? <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> I thought we were going to go down the, what's it like to uh, now, the outdoor industry? Now, we're now, charging forward. Heck no. Now tackle that the, shops. Now that the prodigal son has returned That's right. home. That's right. I have returned. <laughs> now that you're living out that section of the Bible, oh. what, how, how is it? I'm just curious. So I work with the son. It's working with the son's mother that kind of buffers the son all the time. You know? okay. Oh, yeah. oh boy. I see a mama's yeah. boy. <laughs> it's him, mama. I, I already are knew, you mama's boy I, already, I don't know i already knew that answer i yeah, just wanted I, the I, admission I hey, look, know that. i'm a mama's boy too so don't hear me like yeah. say right. guilty you ain't gonna get nothing out of me i'm one yeah <laughs> this yeah. is the mama's boy podcast yeah. 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 I, I went see my mama right before i came this morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah right yeah, he did. He actually did. He went. Well, no, no, because hey, that's my favorite person in the world. Yeah, I was my favorite person in the world. Absolutely, and okay. is the the you were the youngest son. Yep, yep, youngest. Yeah, youngest. It just, you are right in the middle. He right just kind of fit. Uh, youngest like, son has a rough rough life. Okay. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Well, you may have, but hey, no, I, I can speak hey, for I me had, and this guy. We I'm not going to say I that. My dad six, is present. I have six <laughs> siblings. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we did not. We both had just an older sibling. Yeah. So. Yeah. Six up on yeah. Because yeah. all I've heard, I you know, I didn't. Al asked me one time, okay, I want you to do a lesson for church, you know. Her. Perseverance. No, so I was <laughs> I was working the lesson up and came to find out by doing the lesson that I had an identity crisis. Because all my life, all I ever heard when I went to school was, well, well, Harold Jean wouldn't have done it that way. <laughs> Jimmy Frank wouldn't have done it that way. Judy wouldn't have done it that way. And I'm going. Hey, look! Hey, look over here! I ain't Harold Jean. I ain't Jimmy Frank. I ain't Judy. It's so it's a sigh. Yeah, all I ever heard was somebody else's name. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and then A and E came along. I tell you and what, they buddy. All found out. Uh, I tell you what, buddy. You got the last laugh. Uh, <laughs> I tell you that right now, pal. No, no, that may have happened your whole life, but you're the one at 75 still laughing. Well, well no, no. So, and, and laughing all the way to the back. I guarantee you. <laughs> I wasn't going to throw that out there. but no, no, she He already did, did. He eats four-inch filet mignons for, yeah, no, no, so for hey, the rest look, of the week. He eats well, hey, four male hot that, tamales. So, I mean, all, like, hey, look, they all asked us, said, what is the biggest change in y'all's life since y'all went from just old country, poor country boys to your to Duck Dynasty stars? You know? And I said, the menu. <laughs> yeah. the grub and they said, what are you talking about? I said, hey, it went from bologna 
to prime rib. Yeah, the grub got better. Yeah. I will say that happened, you know, we ain't on size level over here at the local tackle shop, but we eat, do all right. We eating better than we were in yeah, 2000. But, hey. We don't have beef stroganoff anymore. Yeah, but we got thing, Big Dave out hey, there just slinging. Hey, low key though, beef stroganoff still fire, man. Ugh, like, gross. What you know? Oh, what like hey. homemade beef stroganoff, man? It's just gravy. That was my mom's Yo, it's pasta it and right gravy. Down, hey, when it comes right down to it, my sister used to say this. My older sister, yeah, she's with the Lord right now. Yeah, and uh, she would say, "I can't wait to get away from home. I'm never going to eat another pinto bean and cornbread in my entire life." <laughs> Man, hey, look, I love pinto beans. When she and would come home from college, <laughs> your mama would say, What you want? Pinto beans and cornbread. There it is. Feels like home, but hey, yeah. If what yo, know, what you grew up with, yo. Know, I remember used to being a kid, like saying for New Year's Day, we always ate black eyed peas and cabbage, oh, yeah. all the traditional oh, yeah. stuff. I remember it said, Man, when I grew up, I ain't, we ain't yeah, doing that in my house. You walk hey. in my house January the first, hey, but it smells like black eyed peas that's and cabbage right. around that's there, right. hey. and it feels good. Oh, like, it ain't no, it ain't I can do better. the cabbage. It ain't like in black eyed peas. I'm Ooh. a hard pass. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. That's Ooh. oh, that's one of the finest meals there is. Is cabbage cooked right? Yeah, yeah, cabbage good. That no. next day in the duck blind, over rude, hey. rude. <laughs> rude. A lot of things that send yeah. you into some intestinal distress. <laughs> With black eyed and peas and cabbage. Eight. You got dueling banjos in your belly then, buddy. It's <laughs> a bad deal. Hey, <laughs> like, hey, look, you can prank anybody then, boys, when you eat cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty. Uh, well, I mean, with the prank, prank. okay? Yeah, if, waiters, you eat, huh? if you eat cabbage, then go to work at the honey hole the next day. You, you just spend a lot of time on the power bait aisle. Oh, yeah, you sit and stand that's over there selling oh, steak bait. Yeah. Head over hey. to the catfish aisle. Hey, oh, that magic, this magic bait is fresh. Yeah. Golly. Hey, all it's, three one is of, it's one of them SPDs, all. boys. Silent but deadly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is man. the truth, though. <laughs> I do love I, I say, oh. hey, Big Dave took it easy on you. He didn't He didn't let out no secrets of, no. other than just outing you as a mama's boy. Well, that was kind of funny. Everybody already kind of knew that. Well, maybe our listeners and everybody knows you do that. <laughs> yeah, everybody sure. knows you. Everybody, I mean, we call it Big Dave and Big Jan, but Big Jan is like 5'2". Five 5'5". Two, five five. Five, She's worked well with five five. But, but yeah. hey, she can hold her own. Is she? She's she's scary. Yeah, she's oh. hold, she can hold her own. Oh, every time. Working for my dad is kind of a breeze. <laughs> Working for my mom. <laughs> Whew. She got a little Johnny in her. Oh boy! <laughs> now we're getting into now we're getting into Corey's family. Oh Uh-oh. wow! What a life, Uh-oh. man! We can tell them stories too. We'll, oh, hey, we still we got ten. Mo- we still got, got ten, 10 more minutes. minutes. So oh. we'll, we'll take a break and come back right after this. Now you're heavily involved with Celebrate Recovery and right. help and helping folks beat the same thing that that. Yeah, I lead the anger group, and, and uh, the anger group, I've told a lot of people this over the years, the anger group is kind of like the uh, the next step. It's like a graduate assistant group. Because <laughs> when they get off drugs and alcohol, they realize the reason they were on drugs and alcohol is because they were so pissed off. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's now they're having to deal with anger without n- anything numbing it. So uh, that's what we've worked through. And it, it come to find out it was the best thing ever happened to me because – I found people that were wired the same way I am, which is a little too tight. Yeah. And so they helped me work through a lot of the anger that I had and a lot of the ways I handled things in anger. So, you know, the the people that got off drugs helped me deal with my anger. And I helped them. We kind of all just pointed each other to Jesus on, hey, he's the one who can take care of the anger. And celebrate recovery is big in the Owen family anyway, because Mac. Yeah, yeah, he's is, like the what is he? The Universal Global he's a, Director. He's the CEO of all of it. Yeah. Grand Poopa. Grand yeah. Poopa. Yeah. That's right. And or that's Pope. your brother, Pope of CR. Yeah. No, no. Pope of C- <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, no. I could have used this this deer. That's that's what I I had a lot of anger issues when I was in the military. <laughs> Did you? Oh, yeah. I can't. I, I can't picture you as angry. Yeah, That's what I've like like seen you angry. One I was time. raised by army well, sergeant. No, well, no, no, because I would. I, I was like you. Okay. I would look up and say, "What was I supposed to learn from just what happened?" Yeah. I've been saying that about every day about teal season yeah. this year. No, no. 
Wow. While you were looking up, didn't see nothing? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. why? What what yeah. what has changed? I used yeah. to think I knew what I was doing. What are you teaching me here? Yeah. Like, yeah. What am I supposed to learn from this, Lord? Yeah. I'm in the pit. All right, I got okay. one email. Yeah. Y'all ready for it? Read it, Tim. And, and I don't know what the odds of this are. Uh -oh. And I promise you, I'm not lying. This is not a setup. 17 minutes ago, Josh emails in. Um graduated this past May with a bachelor's degree in business management. And my goal slash dream is to one day own and run my own fishing store. I really want my business to be Christ centered and a tool to help further the kingdom. Any and all advice is greatly appreciated. Well, sir, I have just the man that may give you <laughs> advice on how to own and run a fishing store. Lady. Take it away, big Dave. Any advice? Yeah. Get up early. Stay late and make sure you got what they want. Right. If you ain't got what they want, get it. Right. If you can't get it, they don't need it. Right. In other <laughs> words, dude, you're fixed to put in some long, hard hours yeah, it ain't to no be successful. Crap. Okay? Because, hey, look, you ain't got nobody else to turn to. You know, the buck's going to stop, and it's going to stop on you. Wise man told me once you get into it, just what you get out of it, just what you what put you gonna it. put into it. That's right. And I will say, as a shopper of Honey Hole, still, even before all of this, every time I went in there, once y'all purchased the business, that man was there. Didn't matter what time of day. Didn't matter if I went first thing in the morning, headed to the river, going fishing, or if I was killing time at three o'clock in the afternoon on a random Thursday. He was there. A prophet is not what known or respected in his own own uh, community. Yeah, I'm he, trying to turn him into a prophet now, so I I, can, <laughs> I get out of there a little. Try to get out of there a little bit. Now you'll see one of Enjoy what yeah. you've got. Well, which is yeah. good. But yeah. I mean, I saw him. But what I'm saying, even when I would go in there, and this is for everybody, Big Dave owns a business, and I've seen him toting out the trash. I've seen him fixing a rod and reel. I've seen him dipping shiners. Well, you got to know he's the done, job. He's done every job. You, know, you got to know place. the job to because be able to train somebody. That's exactly right. And to know when your employees are full of crap when they tell you they can't do something. Yeah. You're like, no, yeah. no, no. It can be done. I did it. Yeah. Like, it can be done because you know, I sit there and done it. Yeah. That's that's well, not and your I issue is man. I did it better and faster than you did. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Learn. And back in the I, day, well, back in the day, though, like you were. We're open 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and there were many days where you showed up at 6 a.m. and you didn't leave till 6 p.m., right? Yeah, yeah. But that's what that's what it takes to build a business sometimes. And, you know, the first, after I bought the Honey Hole, cash flow wasn't real great around the Owen residence. I bought a Ford single cab truck off eBay and drove it so you could have my other truck. That truck was sweet. Thank you for that. Yeah. At 1999Z. Yeah. Once I figured out what he drove, I'd always drive by there, see if he's there. Well, I'd stop in and talk to him. Oh, he if, was Just there. in case. I wanted to make sure he wasn't going to lunch or nothing. <laughs> and know? he put all that time in, and now he's got two identical Tundras. Yeah. Leaves one hooked to the boat and one going <laughs> right. to work. That's one's yeah. got a lot more bumps in it. It's a little older. Yeah. Well, a man that runs Hey, a somebody wants to buy hey, that. Look, a man what? that runs a bait shop has got to go. Fish every once in a while where he can talk to his clientele. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Hey. Wednesday morning. You got to be able to know, hey, you want to talk to a guy that knows what he's doing. On Wednesdays, you'll either find him on a lawnmower or with a fishing pole in his hand. That's the two places hey. you'll see or him. Or here. Or here. We got him today. We yeah. got him today. He runs smooth right. out of things to do today. <laughs> so he ended up here. Oh, I got plenty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never run out of things to do. He can't. Oh right. well, Big Dave, thanks so much yep. for joining us. We always close with a with I a got, Bible verse. I got you one ready. Oh, there at you five. Go. You, well, you know how I always say sometimes. Well, yep. I don't have one, but my dad sent me this one. Amen. At five forty three this morning, the time when the times are good, be happy. When times are bad, consider this: God has made one as well as the other. Therefore, no one can discover anything about the future. Ecclesiastes seven fourteen. God's in control. Too much to worry about the future and what may happen is just a waste of energy. That's what enjoy, my dad said me this morning. Enjoy and appreciate both. Ain't that the truth? That's, right. well, that's what I'm learning okay. about TLC. Because about. that's what life is. <laughs> no, that's what life is about, folks. And the fall crappie bite. Okay. Amen. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all next time in the duck call room. We're out. Thanks for joining, Big Dave. Yeah. Yep.